Would you please be upstanding as we are going to sing Hosanna, Hosanna. Can I also invite you, if you are able to, to wave your branches as well while we sing this intro, it, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Please be seated. Friends, the Uniting Church in Australia commits their members to work together as first and second peoples following Christ, seeking community, compassion, and justice for all creations. This morning we gather, worship, and live stream this service from the traditional lands of the Wadarong people of the Kulin Nations. We pay our sincere respect to their elders, past, present, and emerging. This acknowledgement is also extended to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples who might worship with us this morning and who might watch this worship service. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ballarat Central Uniting Church Worship Service, which is also being live-streamed on YouTube channel on Sunday, the 24th of March, 2024. Friends, a warm welcome to you who are here in the church and those who are joining us online. And if you are visiting this morning, feel free to stay back and enjoy morning tea after worship service this morning. Today is Palm Sunday, as you can tell. And our procession with the psalm started in Ballarat here around 8.30 this morning as we went from here to the Anglican Church and from the Anglican Church to the Rotanta on State Street as we had our ecumenical Palm Sunday gathering. And today, friends, is the beginning of Holy Week. 
And today we are invited to follow and reflect on Jesus' last days in his public ministry. And this week, I invited us to follow and reflect on the idea of giving. 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 Holy Week, week of giving. The giving of God in Jesus Christ. The giving of God's people. And what a week. The triumphal entry into Jerusalem, the anointing of Jesus with pure nard oil, very expensive, and Jesus sharing his last meal with his friends, and a betrayal, the trial, the suffering, the crucifixion, died, buried, resurrection. This week I invite us to follow our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in his last days on his public ministry. And I invite us to follow with humility and openness during this week of prayer, which begins today. Can I invite you for a moment of silent preparation? Acknowledging we are here to worship at the beginning of this holy week. A week of giving. And today, our theme, offering to glorify. Offering to glorify. And a responsory call to worship. Give thanks to God for God's love remains steadfast and true. Though the future is uncertain and the way is dimmed by threat of violence, we give thanks to God for God's love remains steadfast and true. Hosanna in the highest. Even as hatred barricades the road, our love leads us on, and we give thanks to God for God's love remains steadfast and true. We lay down our lives and lift up our praise for the one who comes in God's name to save, and we give thanks to God for God's love remains steadfast and true. Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray. Blessed Hosanna, who saves us with love, draw close to us on this day. Remind us that you are with us always, in all moods and seasons, in all our doubts and fears. May we draw closer to you at this time. After the palm and tree branches have withered and the songs of praise have died away, may our love for you remain steadfast and true as we offer our prayer of confession. You who embodies a sacred presence, it is your way that we reflect God's love in places of conflict and injustices. 
so your salvation will continue to grow in our world. We confess it is not always easy to follow. You who suffers alongside the suffering, it is your way that we remain present in all times, including times of unloveliness and challenge. In times of struggle, weakness, and need, we confess it is not always easy to follow. You who seek justice through peaceful means, it is your way that we be a people of shalom, of peace, and that we may make room for all at your banquet table, even if it cost us our very life. We confess it is not always easy to follow. And in this silence, O oh gracious and loving God, we offer our confessions, and here they are. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, hear then the assurance of pardon for God's people, based on Isaiah 50. God is our help at all times, therefore we will not be put to shame. The justice deliverer is near, so who can wrongly accuse? A strong defender is present, so where can the adversary stand? God is our help at all times and declares us forgiven and free. And we all say together, thanks be to God. Amen. Let us continue and sing our next hymn, Make Way, Make Way for Christ the King.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Rod. Today, after worship, we have an older and wiser forum that will commence at 11.45 here in the worship space. Our speaker will be Rachel Dixon, uh, and she is going to present on the role of an occupational therapist for those who are ageing in their own home. The Palm Sunday Justice and Peace Rally and Walk commences at 2pm this afternoon and folk will be gathering at the McDonald Band Stand at Lake Wendere opposite the Floral Clock if you want to join that rally and walk. The family service this evening led by Andy Galt and the music team will commence at 5pm and all are invited. This coming Holy Week you're invited to share short reflections on Monday through Wednesday, beginning at 7.30 p.m. Our Maundy Thursday service will also begin at 7.30 p.m. Our Good Friday service begins early at 9 a.m. Uh, and there is going to be a Way of the Cross procession at 10 a.m. beginning at St. Columbia's Catholic Church, if you want to join that. Reminder that our Easter Sunday worship is combined with Brown Hill and will be at Brown Hill under the oak tree and all the forecasts are suggesting good weather. Uh, there will be chairs provided but you might want to bring your own or a picnic, love, a picnic rug. Um, morning tea will be provided. Uh, if you are staying on for lunch, the picnic lunch is self-catered. As the Easter Sunday service will be at Brown Hill that week, we are going to celebrate with Easter flowers on Sunday the 7th of April. So if you normally contribute, or on this occasion you would like to contribute flowers and help set up, the group will be meeting here on Saturday the 6th of April at 1.30pm. If you can't get there on the Saturday but will have flowers or foliage, that you'd like us to use, please contact Anita Hinton. And if you need Anita's phone number, I can give you that after the service. A reminder to all those preparing or planning submissions for our next issue of Beacon, our congregational magazine, the deadline for those submissions is next Sunday, Easter Sunday, uh, to be received by our editor, Leanne, then. And finally, there are copies of this document available in the foyer. This is our annual general meeting report that will be considered at our AGM on the 14th of April. So if you haven't got one of these already, please collect one after the service. Thank you. Good morning. have a story today, and um, our story has uh, two characters in it. Um, we have a, a grandpa, and we have a, uh, a young boy, and I feel I can do both roles now, as I'm a grandpa, and also I'm incredibly immature. So... <laughs> Also, I will be uh, using the universally uh, accepted uh, image uh, of uh, an old person or an old man by donning a flat cap and a young person by wearing a cap at a jaunty angle. That's usually a young person, isn't it? Dave the donkey was so excited. He had been watching all week for Grandpa Donkey to get back from Jerusalem. Dave had some big news he had been waiting to share with him. Grandpa, Grandpa, guess what? I carried the king into Jerusalem. You're joking, Dave. No, Grandpa, I, I carried the king. 
I was standing out the front, minding my own business, when the king's servant untied me and led me to the king. The king jumped on my back and we charged down the hill and up the mountain to Jerusalem. The crowd, they wave palm branches. Oops. I've unplugged myself. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I can't see. <laughs> the crowd waved palm branches and everyone cheered. Hooray for the king. Long live the king. We said goodbye and I headed home, leaving the king to get on with the job of being king. So, Grandpa, you've, you've been in Jerusalem since then. Tell me, what happened next? Did the crowd keep cheering for the king? I just realised I haven't been doing the pictures. <laughs> it's going well, isn't it? Well, Dave, the, the crowd were yelling for the king. You are a tough crowd. Well, Dave, the crowd were yelling for the king. Blimey. Wow, and I'm sure all the leaders came to meet him. That. Yes, the king did meet all the leaders. And, and Grandpa, they would have placed a golden crown upon the king's head. myself. <laughs> they certainly crowned the king, but it wasn't made of gold. The throne. The throne, Grandpa. They must have led the king into the palace, sat him on the throne and cheered, long live the king. No, Dave, there was no throne. They led the king out of Jerusalem and they nailed him to a cross. A cross? So the king, the king is dead? I had it ready. <laughs> no, Dave. The king was dead. The king was placed in a tomb, and the tomb was sealed with a heavy stone. But now the king is alive. He was dead, but the tomb is empty. The king is alive. Dave stared across the valley to Jerusalem. As the strange and wonderful news rolled through his mind, the king was dead, but now he is alive. Grandpa, did you ever get to carry someone special that you will never forget? Yes, Dave. As a matter of fact, I did. It was long ago, on a starry night like this, I carried someone very special that I will never forget. Long live the king, Dave. Long live 
the king. The Oscars are in the post, I'm sure. Good morning. Good morning, Beth. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp to our feet, a, a light, light to, to our path. path. Isaiah 54 to 9. The Sovereign Lord has given me an instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He, wa he wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ears to listen like one being taught. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears, and I have not been rebellious. I have not drawn back. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I will not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who then will bring charges against me? Let us face each other. Who is my accuser? Let him confront me. It is the sovereign Lord who helps me. Who is he that will condemn me? They will all wear out like garments. The moths will eat them up. It's the word of the Lord.
The next reading is Philippians 2, 5 to 11. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature, God did not consider equally with God, something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the time of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Uh, Mark 11, 1 to 11, the triumphal entry. As they approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has, have, has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why are you doing this, tell him. The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying that colt? They answered that Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloak over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom, come, blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, and since, since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Lord, may your word live, us, live in us. And, and bear much fruit to your, your glory. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, as you came through Jerusalem in that special triumphal entry in and through your Son, Jesus Christ, may we remember that entry. And in remembering, may we respond with what you have gifted us with. And in responding, may we continue to spread your good news in words and in actions. Open our hearts, our minds, and our souls to receive your divine message for us. Amen. Week of giving. And on Palm Sunday, an offering to glorify Friends, I believe that when we talk about giving, we also say, and we hear the word, yes, you scratch my back and I scratch yours. La lady, you paid for our lunch today and the next time will be mine. But friends, what I'm talking about today is something as I scratch your back today. And I continue to scratch your back next week. 
and scratch it the following week. And not only that, but I'll pay for our lunch this week. And I'll pay it again next week. And the week after, I said, when is my chain to pay? That special giving. And I believe that some of you remember that great saying by that great person that we continue and give until it hurts. This morning we celebrated Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. And we call it Palm Sunday, even though palm trees are really, really difficult to grow in that area. And it is a later sort of a celebration. And today's reading from Mark, yes, three branches, is closer to what really happened in there. And this morning, that giving do glorify. And I want us, friends, to bring us back to what we give. Not to glorify myself, not to glorify Hawthorne as my team, or Tongan as I grew up from and originated from, but giving to glorify God. And also this week today as well, we celebrated two ideas, Palm or Passion Sunday, Passion Sunday, when we focus on that special giving, that special giving of God. That special giving of God doesn't require you a, you turn your back and I scratch it. And the special giving of God that, um, yes, it is my turn to pay lunch because you have done yours. That special gift of God that continue to give and give and give and give. And even it hurts, it continues to give. Hosanna. On Palm Sunday. And I hope that today we'll continue and sing Hosanna with the palms. And continue to sing that special offering and giving to glorify God. And also that special call when we will hear it during the week, crucify. Crucify in another word that we say, that's also Hosanna from the perspective of God. Philippians too, known as the Philippian hymns. And the Apostle Paul was trying to say, this is what God has done in and through His Son, Jesus Christ. And these beautiful words, yes, He was God Himself, but didn't want to hold to that one. But He came. He offered that and become a servant and even um, in the form of a human likeness like you and me. And struggle as well. And even uh, when Jesus struggled and even died on the cross. See that giving? See that offering to glorify? And see that special offering that I was trying at the beginning as well. And and also um, in in, in some other country it's called reciprocity. You give, I give. You give, I give. You give, I give. With this Jesus Christ, He gives, He gives, God gives, God gives, God gives. And then we continue to be gifted with. He humbled Himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. 
And friends, the other reading that we had this morning, the reading from Mark about uh, Palm Sunday. When they brought the call to Jesus and threw their clothes over it, he said on it, many people spread their clothes on the road while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. And this is the people trying to respond as their faith as well, to give to this person maybe they only know a little bit about him. We have known a lot more than them in the, in, in the time when Jesus entered into Jerusalem triumphantly. And they gave Jesus what they have. I'll come to it later on. And those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. This is what I'm trying to say to us. In response, this is in response in a thing we cannot match. $25 lunch, next time I'll buy $25 lunch. This is what we can offer. And in this one, I think uh, we had the offering of the Tongi owners. You know the story that we had today? Jesus told his disciples, go there and you will find a cord. Hasn't been written. Just undie it and bring. What a beautiful owners. And there were people who were standing there and said, hey, what are you doing? And they were told that the Lord, you know the Lord who was being sort of a healing the sick. That Jesus of Nazareth, he's the one who needs this cord. And then they allowed them to do the donkey owners. You know, people in the first century, those who own con uh, animals as well, they were the wealthy one. They had something to offer. And even when it was t taken away from them, that is what they have. A donkey and a cord hasn't been written but one of the wealthiest people in the time when the cold was taken, take it. Even those who are really high in the community, they offered what they have. Next one, the unwritten cold at the doorway. And see how precious this cold was? It was really die at the doorway. So that the people came and said, this cold belongs to this house. And this, this cold is very special and valuable as well. And we keep that cold in our eyesight as well. Even the animals as well. And the cold haven't been written. And there is another sermon in that regard that offered itself for the Messiah to ride on. The crowd that they were shouted as well. Friends, this is what I always ask people. Can you sing? And that person said, sorry, la lady, I can't sing. But you can speak. That is a voice. That a voice that you can speak with, you can use that one. And today, these people who were singing they gave what they have, their special gift of their voices, and they were shouted, Hosanna, even what they have, they offered it back to that great gift that God has gifted them with. And also the people with their cloaks, and cloaks for people in the first century Palestine is an identity thing. You wear that cloak to tell who you are, what race you belong to. And they offer their special identity, and even for safety as well. And even some cloaks are used when they really want to have a rest. And they put it on the ground, and they sleep and lay on that one. So, what they really have as their identity and their safety as well, they offer that as a special gift for Jesus. The three branches, 
the people who came, maybe those who do not have cloaks, may they be those who can um, sort of shout, but they didn't want to shout. And even nature provided something. They see the tree and use the branch of the tree to glorify God with. Friends, this morning, in the reading from Mark that we had, that all creations have something to offer. Trees, animals, and people as well. Their cloaks, their voices, they offer all of those to honor God and honor Jesus. And today for us, what we can offer back to God, an offering to glorify. Friends, what can we offer to honor Jesus and honor God in our journey in this year? We have heard from Mark that people offer what they have. And even if they don't have anything, they ask nature, bring us three branches and we can offer that. And also a reminder who do we glorify? Yes, we can glorify ourselves. We can glorify other people, but we can also glorify God. This morning, I'm asking us if we can glorify God and everything. Because once we are able to glorify God, then we are able to glorify others as well. Our friends, our family, our nature as well, our environment, as we continue to care for our environment. And today we are reminded in this Palm Sunday that we are Jesus' disciples. We are followers of Jesus as we continue to follow our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And finally, in conclusion this morning, can I invite us at the beginning of this Holy Week to follow closely and learn closely from our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, this week will be difficult, but it is possible for us as disciples to continue and follow our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And to God be the glory now and forevermore. Amen. Please remain seated as we sing our next hymn. And during this singing, your offering will be received. Ride on, ride on in majesty.
Gracious and loving God, even on days such as these days, when we try to contemplate on how we have failed to uphold your word and your work, still we offer you these gifts of our hands and our hearts. We give these gifts for your honor and pray that you would receive them and use them, O gracious God, that together we might continue to tell the world of your good news of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We share together in prayer. Creator and interceding God, bring order out of chaos and life from death. Guide our thoughts to the things in our lives that have been wearing us down and sapping us of life. Guide our thoughts to situations where we know of others who are being treated poorly. Help us to trust that your good can still come from bad situations and that you go before us into these situations. Bring special care and attention to such matters as community wounds that can, without love, become infected. Give us wisdom as to whether we are to speak or act in some new way. Teach us your healing ways, your wound care. Help us to enter into these situations with love, with patience and with grace. Teach us to listen to any pain present, to reckon with the tenderness to remember that we hurt where we care and to hold that conflict and pain can draw us into what really matters to us. Be strong in our struggles, loving God. Bring hope out of despair and joy out of struggle. Meet us in this place, O God, for we know you are always with us. We know we are never alone. Amen. And we share together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Can I invite you to please be upstanding if you are able to as we come to the end of our worship this morning. And this is our sending forth. Friends, the way has begun. This time next week, the world will be different, but the journey has to be traveled. Go now with the one who has already traveled and will travel again. The same bath in the name of love given for all creation. It is a violent and disturbing week that we are facing. The heart will be torn out of the universe, but the promise is that it will beat again. Go and all heaven's peace be with you. 
And the final blessing, Holy Week worship, worship service are seen as one whole worship begin on Balm Passion Sunday and ends when Jesus is resurrected on Easter Sunday. So there won't be any amen after worship this morning. May we walk among the voices of Hosanna and Crucify, share the journey with Jesus, and listen for the crossing gift of love. Long for the moment it breaks open again, and let us follow Jesus. With our dismissal song this morning, may the road rise up to meet you, the traveler's prayer.